Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Cancer. So we have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Wishing. Wishing card. We have What a Catch. We have the Hair Font, Taurus Energy. Clarify the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess. <laughs> Mm. Clarify the wishing card, the lovers, Gemini energy. Clarify what a catch, judgment, Scorpio energy. Hmm. Clarify the hair font, the hanged man, Pisces energy. So, yeah, there's quite a few. This whole bottom row is major arcana, and we have the hair font here. So, some type of big changes. What's on the back of the deck? Woo! <laughs> Right as I'm saying that, the tower, more major kind of huge changes, unexpected changes, significant change, unexpected. Um, somebody, there's about to be a tower moment that finally gives somebody the strength to stop running from this. Um, because you were dealing with somebody that was being very childish. They were playing a lot of mind games. They kept, they were betraying you. Things were very toxic between you and this person, or you were just dealing with dealing with a dealing with a very toxic um, person. Also, they could have been involved in some type of situation that had something to do with children um, that was very toxic that they were giving to, but they're choosing to withdraw from that situation or let it go. Okay, something is about to make this person no longer be able to run from their feelings and emotions, what they truly desire. You have somebody here that's wishing and yearning for you. They feel a deep um, connection with you. Obviously, this is a twin flame reading. They feel like you are a catch. They're, you're not somebody that they, they want to lose for good or completely. So I do feel like someone's going to try to come back here and ask for another chance or try to have a, you know, shoot their shot here with you at some point. I feel like somebody is also maybe realizing that you have options or that you have another choice or something like that. Like somebody's starting to listen to their intuition. They either know that you have options or they can feel that you have options coming in. Okay. Um, to have, to be able to give this person, a, give you a commitment, they're going to have to let something go. Whether they're in a marriage or a commitment, they're going to have to let that go. To be able to give you a commitment, let's see, what is the seven of cups and the high priestess? What is this, someone's intuition telling them in regards to the seven of cups? The awakening. What about so, surrendering to what? Somebody could just be finally getting clarity too with the seven of cups and the high priestess. Their intuition was telling them all, all along that this was a special connection, that this was significant. Um, but for some reason, they were very confused. We can take a look at that in a second, but they're starting to gain clarity. They're starting to awaken to this connection, which is leading them to surrender to it. All right, that they do want to, you know, settle down and have something stable. Why was this person so confused? The King of Cups. What about the King of Cups? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They were just unawakened. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody that does have a lot of love for you. Um, this person could actually be a very emotional person, but they don't show it, okay? But yeah, totally un doesn't understand their love for you. So they didn't understand probably the intensity of this connection. What, are, what were they not understanding here? You had two of wands. They were confused between you, you know, going down the path of you and another path. But it's like they really didn't understand how what they were feeling for you. What is it that they, I mean, they know that you're a catch. They know that you're not somebody that they really want to let go of. What was it that they weren't understanding about the connection? What were they not understanding? Mm, why about the Knight of Pentacles, the Forbidden? Why did they, oh, what about the Forbidden? They just felt like there was something about the two of you where the, it's like, how do I say this? They felt like you two, how, oh, how do I say that? They felt like somebody like you and somebody like them just don't usually end up together or they don't go get well together. They felt like you guys were just like, so there was something very different between the two of you. There were, there, there were differences here with this forbidden. They feel like they were going to have to put in a lot of work to be able to get to your level or to bridge the gap in these differences between the two of you. Like they just like somebody like you and somebody like them. You guys just couldn't work. Has this person ever heard of opposites attract? Apparently not. We have seven of swords here. What about the seven of swords? The long wait. See, what were they doing behind the scenes here? See, what this person was doing was that they had a whole nother person. They were keeping you waiting while they were dealing with this other person. So whenever this person would ghost you, you want to hear from them, they would disappear, whatever. You guys were in separation. They were definitely trying to 
collaborate or work with work on something with somebody else here and i feel like they've been and they were like trying to put you on hold what were they trying to accomplish in that other situation what were they trying we have page of wands they were literally just having a fling there yeah like for some of you they would just pursue like a brand new connection that was like um new and exciting okay and it would be very short-lived and then they would try to come back towards you for others of you whatever they have with this other person they would try to work on something with them and then it wouldn't work out and then you know it would be maybe good for a few days and then they come back to you and that's probably why i'm feeling that's how it is with you we have the tower here again this may be how this person's connections are they never really stay with somebody for too long um what is this divine intervention and unexpected events yeah the wheel of fortune so it could be some type of divine intervention it's some type of huge change yeah fate and destiny change in your love life in what way rejection Ooh. <laughs> oh so that's what's changing the situation um is this person getting rejected here i don't know if this is something that's happened yet or it's about to happen but this person is very egotistical um they they're resisting the connection but i do see a rejection that's kind of leading this person into the dark night of the soul we have emptiness and disconnection. So that's what's shifting things. Tell me more about this rejection. This is going to be a tower moment for this person. What about the sun? Mm, the seven of wands. You guys have grown. You see everything for what it is now. You see the truth about this person. You see what they've done to you. You're looking at things like everything that was hidden from you or that they didn't want you to see. You see it now. Whether they confessed it to you or not. And I feel like you guys are, you know, you've put these boundaries in place or you will put these boundaries in place because you're not wanting this person to put you in you no your per, this person's not going to put you in a third party because they're they're resistant to letting something go that they don't where they don't even want to be I'm talking about the emperor wow the empress and the empress the emperor and the empress coming out at the same time why is that coming out three of wands the three of swords internal conflict but why is it the four of pentacles this person is can't let you go because you guys do share this divine connection but they're also not really wanting to let something else go okay it's like this person's you know slowly making progress they're in the process of learning divine lessons um why are they still holding on to whatever this other situation is when they know that they have this connection with my collective why are they doing this so the moon so for some of you, they have some type of complicated situation going on with that person that you probably aren't aware of all the details in regards to that. For others of you, it's because of an illusion. Yeah, uncertainty, fears, anxieties is keeping them over there. Tell me more with Pisces energy with the moon. We have date. What about date? Seven of swords. Yeah, this person is wanting to keep this a secret. Yeah, they're wanting to keep you kind of like as a sneaky link or <laughs> I don't even like that term. They're wanting to keep you as like a, a secret person, like a secret relationship. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Two of Swords. Why are they so choice? Them? Okay, so they maybe have a choice between their Empress and the Queen of Pentacles energy. What do they need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? The Three of Wands, the Queen of, what about the Queen of Pentacles? Divine timing, what? The Ace of Cups. Maybe you're this. Mm. What about the Empress? Healing. What does the Queen of Pentacles have to do with my collective? Waiting. Feeling, yeah, hopeful they'll return. Ten of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. It's like this person left the person that. They couldn't make up their mind about you, but they view you as the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. They view you as somebody who is their, yeah, like you're you're very loving. Like you're, you're, you're literally the total package. Some of you guys have businesses. You're very stable. You're very abundant. You're very confident. Yeah, maybe they're starting to see this now. Yeah, now they're trying to, yeah, now they want you back. They're starting, they didn't see this before. We do have this energy with the moon here about illusions. Why couldn't they see this about my collective? I feel like they did always see it, but they were trying to resist you. Why? Temperance. Why were they trying to resist coming towards strength? Yeah. Why have they been taming their emotions and their desires? Eight of Wands. What about the Eight of Wands? Hi yeah, this person's been hiding their feelings from you. Possibly out of Why? I don't get it. The Nine of Pentacles. What about the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, this person always knew. Because they knew that they were going to have to release something to be with you. Yeah, they were trying to juggle. Oh, 
<sighs> so what are they going to do? What are they going to do, Spirit? Well, Spirit says they're going to keep hiding their feelings or wearing some type of mask. I'm kind of drawn to how this person's only wearing a half mask, though. Like, they may reveal a little bit to you, but they're not going to reveal everything to you. Yeah. That's what it probably is. Somebody's about to come in here. They're still feeling pretty insecure. They're maybe going to share a little bit with you, but they're still going to be high. Why are they doing that, though? Yeah, Dark Knight of the Soul. What is the Seven of Pentacles, though? The Three of Wands. Okay. Death. They are changing. Changing. What's the ending? The ego. The ego's dying here. Yep. They're having an ego death. And now what? They want to know what's going on with you. So they're going to come towards you. But why is the Five of Pentacles here? You guys are going to reject them. I'm telling you. And move on from them. Move in a different direction. They're going to be heartbroken. They're going to have to make up their mind about something. Yeah, four of swords to believe something behind. Yeah, withdraw. Because you're, it's like, they're going to try to, what about the Queen of Pentacles? The King of Pentacles. Unawakened. It's like they still are not seeing what you guys could be. We have the Empress and the Emperor. Why don't we have the Queen and the King of Pentacles? They don't understand it yet. But they're going to. Why? What is making them with this Ace of Swords? Cannot be trusted. Two of Cups. The Seven of Wands. You guys are either, you're going to reject this person or block them because you see something for what it is now. Yeah, you're in this Queen of Swords energy with this boundaries. Yeah, we have money focus here. Money over love. Money affecting your love life. What about money Money focus? The devil. See, this person still wants to may, remain attached to a situation that is toxic because of money. This person's been choosing money over love. Yeah. Yeah, forbidden. It's just like five of wands. Awakening. Yeah, awakening. It's like they're starting to see it. But what is making them see it, though? Mirroring. They're starting to go within. Yeah, what about the knight of wands? Waiting. Wow. It was like they were keeping you waiting while they were being lustful magician or you know what if it's not the that they were being like keeping you waiting while they're being lustful this person was waiting for you to come back to them and i feel like this person because it says feelings feelings of neediness hopeful they'll return i don't think you guys are doing it this person is starting to realize that if they want something with you with the magician here it says making things manifest they're gonna have to do something so i think that they're about to kind of rush in here out of nowhere because they're sick of waiting on you to reach out to them. And I feel like you guys are going to reject them. Exactly. Yeah, you guys are going to either block them or it's like things aren't going to move forward. You guys may not know if you want to move forward with this person. Because with the Seven of Swords, you don't trust them. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. So they're going to want to try to like... You think that they're going to spend a little bit of time with you and then walk away from you again. Yeah, so that's what's... Yeah, what about this karmic partner? Nine of Pentacles. They may be single from that person now. And they could be... Yeah, that's what needs to happen. They need to stop trying to juggle you and this person. They need to, this person has issues with being alone. All right. It said like this person always got to have a backup plan. So they may be coming towards you, but they're not going to tell you that they got a third party that they still have waiting at home for them or that they have on the back burner, not completely have closed out that situation because this person has issues with being alone and they have issues with codependency. So they have the other person. They're going to come towards you. Sarah so says what this person, what they're guiding them to do is leave that person, focus on themselves, heal, and then maybe come towards you. And, you know, that would be them coming towards you, correct? Because they got their shit together. They're not, they, don't, they no longer have any baggage. They, they're healed. They're more elevated. But this person keeps trying to have you and this other person. I don't know why. And when they know that your connection does not even compare to the one that they have with this other person. They may get money from that situation. It may be financial stability there, or it may be comfortable. Um, but it's just, it's not what they could have with you. And they know this, but they keep trying to hold on to it out of their fears. There's an illusion here. Give me more clarity on what the illusion is before I move on. What is the illusion? Does this person feel like they can't trust you? Why? Four of Wands, why can't they trust you? Seven of Pentacles, but why cannot be trusted? Four of Swords. 
they need to heal because until they heal, they're going to always think that somebody's trying to, they can't trust their significant other because this person has been hurt or burned in the past or something like that. This person has trust issues. And Spirit is saying this person really needs to come to terms with what this connection is and means. That it's not just some trivial connection. This is special. And they're not really valuing it like they should. So whatever. This person may want to say that. They may even tell you that they want to settle down. They want to marry you one day. They want to invest in you. But it's like you cannot trust this person. Because that's the illusion. Too. Is that like this person may come in and say they want to settle down. They want to get married and everything like that. But it's like. The way that you see the connection is not the way that they see it, okay? And until they see it like you do, it's just not going to work out. Yeah, the, yeah. This person is a part. The problem with this person is that this person is, is coming towards you to try to say they want to settle down and stuff like that out of a neediness. Like, they need something from you. They need, they, they, they're, they're a codependent person. They need to heal that codependency. So... Spear says you did the right thing by walking away from this person. This person is waiting for you to return to them. Um, what about the eight of pentacles? But it's like you got to let this person come in and put in the effort and the work. Yeah. They need to close out a cycle or a cycle needs to be closed. Yeah. What about taming hunger? Yeah. What is the knight of cups and the, yeah. Yeah. Don't let this person keep you stuck either. Because I feel like they do come in and make a lot of empty promises. And I feel like that's maybe what they're coming in with. They don't, they're not valuing the connection like they should. That's a big issue here. Um, so let's see. What can we take a look at next? They, they do know that you're marriage material. That is something that they think about. They, but they got to build the foundation for it. They see you as marriage material. Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. I can't make this up, guys. Like how I keep saying in this reading how this person just was not feeling like somebody like you and somebody like them just doesn't usually end up together. Or like somebody like you couldn't possibly want them. Like you guys are too different. Like you're so much more well off than them. And they're way down there. It's like they, they've been psyching themselves out. Because you guys, they're looking too much at your differences. And not enough on like how those differences can maybe complement each other. Or like how like how that you know you could there could be a yin and yang there like they're not seeing that they think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because of them you are too perfect to believe it's true they don't feel deserving of you it always comes down to that but they want to sleep with you but they know that with you it was more than sex it says their greatest sex memory is with you but it's more than just sex it's their memory of feeling so close to you yeah, but they view you, you're scary. You're unknown to them. They've never been with anybody like you. They've never been in a connection like the one that they feel with you. They would, they've would. they been choosing to stay in what they know versus take a leap of faith on this. Even though it feels amazing and it intrigues them and they, you know, they, they feel something they never felt before with you. It just is scary because it's just not what they're used to. So they've been choosing to stay in their comfort zone. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. Yeah, but they're starting to realize uh, th that was the illusion. They're starting to realize that they had no reason to feel like they didn't, couldn't trust you or to be afraid of you. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. But they have so much of it for you. Look at this overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. What's on the back of the deck? But see, this person's got to get off their ass. That's a big problem with them too. They keep just leaving things up to the divine or they just keep leaving things up to chance. They keep also leaving you to be the one to always do everything. No, if they feel this way about you, if they have this passion for you, if they have these, if these feelings are genuine, they will leave all this shit behind right here, right? Uprooting. They're leaving all this familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. Yeah, it's like, it's forcing them. Yeah, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. They got to go through this dark night of the soul. Yeah, they weren't expecting to meet you. Yeah, you changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. So I feel like this person, Spirit's trying to force this person into taking some type of action towards you. I feel like they've been trying to wait for you to do all the work and take all the action. 
Um, but by you guys taking a step back and walking away from this and standing firm in your boundaries, it's pushing this person to come in and make a gesture here. This person also knows you didn't deserve anything that they did to you. They were just guarded. Um, but yeah, you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Yeah, you got to also give them the space to do that. If you're doing all the work and you're doing all the chasing and all that stuff, you're not really giving this person the space to, um, you know, to really come in and give to you and to chase you and to prove themselves to you. They've been like, they've become too reliant on you putting in all the work and all the effort and you extending the olive branch and you bringing things back together and then not having, having to really make any changes. You having to make all the changes and all the adjustments in your life. And that's not fair. All right. So um, I am.